All right, so recently I've been listening to a lot of Taboo. Uh, that album from Ansel Creator came out in 2018, and I've been loving that album a lot. I don't know why, but I just underappreciated it in the past. But now I just really love that album. But uh, yeah, anyway, I decided to make a Denzel Create type of, you know, Taboo type of beat. I'm not going for a zoo, um, Miami type of um, beat. Even though I really do like that album, you should go check it out. And also, I put it in my list for the best albums of 2019. You guys should go check out that video. Probably like a card in the top right, top left corner. I don't know. But uh, yeah, you guys should go definitely check out the video and check out the album. So anyway, let's get right into the tutorial. So I made a melody with the expand. I decided to use the Nassau Bells and the Bells category, obviously. And uh, yeah, this is the melody. So what I decided to do with this melody is I exported it out from the track. And I decided to just put it here, drag it there, and put a reverse. Yeah, it definitely sounds really like dark and gritty, you know. So I decided to use to, to reuse that gross beat here and the uh, um, end part. I decided to just put another gross beat on top of that. And yeah, let's just head over to the drums. The first thing I start with is the 808. I did make it pretty distorted, I'm not gonna lie. So I to use a Camel Crusher, I put the Annihilator preset, I've been using Annihilator preset on almost every of my tutorials when I'm using bass and all that stuff, like 808s, I don't know why, I just like love the distortion and all, and then put it kind of like almost halfway through in the distortion. As you can see, it is really, really distorted, uh, yeah, that's like, that's literally it what I did with the bass. Uh, it's nothing that special, but yeah, just I I cannot recommend this plugin enough if you guys want really a distorted type of bass. There is pretty fast distortion, but I think this one is sometimes can be better because if you're looking for like a more gritty uh, bass, like a really mean type of bass, I think this can be probably your best option. But uh, yeah, it definitely just depends on your type of sound, whatever you want to aim for. But let's move into the other part of the drums. Um, the kick is basically following the 808. The hi-hats are pretty simple, just a few hi-hat rolls. The snare. In this case, the snares, I decided to use like a, like a sort of like a clap at the same time act as it rolls the snare. I'm gonna be showing you guys now the mixing of how I mix all of this, if you guys wanna know like the secret sauce. But uh, yeah, uh, I put the EQ as always. Uh, I put the RC20 retro color. I said to put the hotline face. I disabled the noise. I think that was a little bit annoying. The digital space magnetic. And I said to like mess around with the wobble and distort now. But uh, yeah, I got the reverb uh, just to make it more ambience and all. And a saturation knob because originally without all these effects, and thank thank Lord saturation knob, this uh, melody was super low. Just needed something to up that volume. But not make it too, you know, ear rapish. Um, the rest, the uh, snares, you know, the kicks, everything is just really, you know, compression and all that stuff. I side chain the bass with the kick. It's nothing really that um, sort of like extreme thing. And I put in the master for the limiter, turn this thing all the way up, um, turn the attack, release, and sustain knob off. And I put the, a free soft clipper so the kick can just bang yeah anyway thank you guys so much for watching this video be sure to like button down below also remember to subscribe turn the notification bell on and ladies and gentlemen enjoy this hard beat J -J 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 with the heat